What's up, muscle car people? This is Bring Up Muscle Cars, and I'm Tia. And this is a muscle car. This is a Supra. But we're going to work on it anyways. So today we're going to show you how to remove the door panel. So uh, you're going to need a few tools. So we have a pick to start, and we have a 215 torque screwdriver. Yeah. And a 10 millimeter wrench. So first we're going to use the pick, and there's a couple of panels here that we're going to have to remove to get to the T15 screws. So one is here, and one is back here. So there we go, that one just pops out. Put that on the floor. Here. And now you can see inside the door here the two T15 screws that we have to remove. And there's another panel back here we have to do the same thing with. So here's the second panel here behind the door handle. And if you want to get in there close there, you can see the other T15 screw that we have to remove. So here we have the screwdriver. If it would be, it would be in this file. Because it was over there, right? Yeah, there was one over there and that's All right, now under the underside of the door here, there's a couple pieces we have to remove with the 10 millimeter wrench. Where are you guys going? Oh, on again. Uh, hey, well, why don't you order a pizza and pick it up from while you're out? Why don't you order a pizza and pick it up while you're out? Okay, hold on a second. Here, yeah, order a pizza so they can pick it up while they're out. <laughs> what kind do you want? How many more times are we going to pass the ball here? Is that better? So, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. So we're just lining, we're just lining the white piece up to the hole in the door panel so it can slide through it. Okay, now what do you do? Normally I like to start there, in the bottom corner. Right, so now we're just going to try to pull the door panel. Tia, can I ask you a question? What? You actually know what you're doing? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> so if Tia can do it, pretty much anybody can do it. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that's how it goes. You have such confidence in me. That, that's what I'm saying. You've never done this before, have you? No. Take the panel tool. Take the panel tool. Take the panel tool. Wasn't recording that whole time. Now you have to do it again. It's fine. What part weren't you recording? That whole part. underneath okay so all of the connections inside the door panel were a little tricky getting off but I I don't do well with the little plugs so um, this one just kind of uh, has a clip right here 
and you depress it and then this one just kind of pulls out so that one wasn't too bad. Um, and then on this blue one, you kind of have to push the button and then pull it out. This one was the trickiest one. So this one is inserted like this. You actually have to push down here and you have to slide this gray piece back until it clips in place and then you can pull the whole connector out. And then there's a couple other ones here. The blue one, same thing, you just have to press right here and then pull it out. And the same thing with this one. You just kind of press press on the little part here. I, I think it helps if you have like a little pick or a little tool to insert in there. You press on that and the same thing, you pull that one out. That one actually was attached to the button for the trunk that was in, in the door. So again, you just press that little part there and then the whole thing comes out. So that took a little longer than I thought it was gonna take. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video today. If you have a better way, easier way, quicker way to disconnect the connectors inside the door, let me know, leave some comments. Um, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you're like us and you got a fast car, you better bring it. Thanks for watching.